Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. I will have my meal plan down below. It is a really simple one this week. Just gonna do some different wraps and I'll tell you the ones as I go along that I'm gonna be doing. And then um, for meal prep, really just gonna be prepping ingredients this week. Not doing a lot of prep since I'm just keeping it just really simple this week. So I will, again, go into that as I show you everything. And then I will have anything linked down below that I can find for any of the recipes that I'm thinking of this week. For produce, I did get some strawberries, some bananas. This week I picked up the flavor bombs from Safeway. Um, I've been getting the um, sugar bombs, so I got these ones. I'll also be using these for some Greek chicken wraps celery. I plan on making um, some onion dip this week, so I wanted to get quite a bit of produce to have with that. So I got some celery, some a cucumber, some bell peppers for that dip, and then some carrots. So I'll be prepping all of those for meal prep. Also for the peppers, I know I've been like pushing off the Philly cheesesteak, chicken cheesesteak um, skillet. Well, I decided to do a ground chicken stuffed pepper philly steak stuffed pepper is what i think i'm gonna do this week instead so i needed more peppers i'll use the green peppers for that and i'll chop up some of these so you will see that in the next, next week's video um to get some avocados some spring mix some lettuce shreds i usually like to mix both of these when i am making wraps just in case i wanted um to make breakfast for dinner i did pick up some hash browns o'brien oh and i did get a yellow onion and a red onion again i'll prep these during meal prep just to have those ready to go to throw on salads and wraps did get some sweet potato fries these are my favorite ones i like to put these in the air fryer for that onion dip i did pick up some of the lipton recipe secrets onion dip and you'll see i am just picked up some little individual yogurts instead of making a big huge one and not using it all um, i did pick up some individual ones I did get the cheese turkey stick combo pack. I've been liking that for a snack. Um, I'm going to do Mexican pizzas for night for dinner. So I did um, pick up some flour tortillas for that, as well as some fat-free refried beans and some enchilada sauce. Now I already have the 96% lean ground beef to go on that, or I may use some ground chicken. Not sure yet what I'll use for that. Um, they still had these on sale. So right now at Fred Meyer, they had these on sale for $6.99. And then they had a $2.50 off digital coupon. So even though I haven't opened up the last bag from last week, I just thought I would stock up on these while they are that cheap and while you can find them. So these will go into the freezer. But I will be using some of these for my wraps this week. So I plan on doing like a kind of like a taco, like Southwest, like chicken wrap. And then I'm gonna do like a buffalo chicken wrap, which I already have the chicken in the freezer for that. I do plan on going to Costco on Sunday and picking up a couple of things um, that I'll need. And I'll show you one of the things that I'm gonna, that I'm reason why I got one of them, because it's something I'm getting at Costco. I am running low on butter, so I can't cut some of the, can't believe it's not butter light. I do, like I mentioned, I wanna do a Greek chicken wrap, so. This is one of my favorite tzatzikis. This is the Greek yogurt one from Boar's Head. This is really good. Only 30 calories too. Also for that Greek wrap, picked up some roasted red pepper hummus. And here are those plain yogurts. So again, you know, I like to use this as sour cream as well. So for the Mexican pizza, but then also I just picked up some other plain ones that I can just make a quick dip. And then that way, like I said, I don't not wasting it or anything. Um, the Chobani yogurts were on sale at Safeway, so I picked up a vanilla, black cherry, lime, and a toasted coconut vanilla. This has become my favorite Bolt House Farms dressing, this honey mustard, and it is really good with those bare chicken nuggets that you can get at Costco. So I'm going to pick up more of those because I'm out of them. Um, but yes, this is really good. I was going to make my own chicken nuggets, which I still may because you'll see here in a second, I have a lot of ground chicken. So um, I may still make some, but anyway, the honey mustard, amazing with that. Plus it's also just really good on wraps and um, on salad. So I also think this would be really good with the blackened chicken to make that for a wrap. And then of course, pick up some classic ranch um, from Bolt House Farms. So I plan on doing a BLT wrap. 
So that's really good on the BLT wraps. Now for all of my meat, and it's not all here. Um, when I made my pickup order from Fred Meyer, I ordered the ground chicken. I planned on using that for either some chicken nuggets. Also some canned chicken, which makes really good chicken nuggets. So if I do plan on making the chicken nuggets, I will do it during meal prep so you can see how I make it. Um, but I plan on using this maybe for the Mexican pizza as well. So when I went to Safeway, they had these stickers on here where if you bought four, they were $20. So I also got a couple red meat things for my husband. So I picked up another ground chicken because this was normally $9.20. So I got it for $5. So I couldn't pass it up. I actually almost got more of these, but decided not to. And then I did pick up some thin sliced um chicken so again this was 664 so I ended up saving on that for the red meat stuff it was actually a huge savings on that so this was a great deal so I couldn't pass it up so lots of ground chicken um these were on sale like normally for they're normally like $8.99 right now our eggs are starting to go up with some of the like the cage-free type eggs where I know everybody else's went up a long time ago for some reason ours are just now starting to go up these are normally $7.99 they were on sale for $5.99 and then there was the 50% off because the date on there but if you didn't know eggs you can like have those like if you want to keep them refrigerated three weeks past the date easily so I plan on making some hard-boiled eggs this week so I got those egg whites of course for my breakfast sandwiches picked up some half and half just to make some like cold foam for my coffee and then of course my 100 calorie Thomas English muffins for my breakfast sandwiches. So again, I plan on just doing the Mexican pizza, those stuffed peppers for dinners. I'll probably have leftovers and then just doing some wraps. If I have any other ideas, I will link recipes down below in the description box. Again, tomorrow's meal prep will be just ingredient prep. And you actually may see that on Tuesday since I don't work on Monday. I may just do my meal prep on Monday and it'll be up on Tuesday. So if you don't see it Monday, You'll see it Tuesday. So I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys.